Want to know how to tell your best story and write a memorable college application essay? Just be yourself. Sure, it sounds simple, but let me explain. When you write your application essay, admissions officers want to know who you really are. They want to know the person behind the GPA transcript and test scores. They have read countless essays about perfect students with perfect grades and perfect lives, which is usually not credible and therefore they don't get admitted. But what these admissions officers really want is to see what makes you unique, what makes you special. So instead of trying to be perfect, just be real because real is going to be better than fake. Tell your story, your experiences and your passions. Be honest about your challenges and struggles. Write about your failures and doubts and why and when you gave up on yourself. See, don't ever forget, failure makes us human and relatable. I know what you might be thinking. If I say I'm not perfect, I won't be accepted. But the funny thing is, the harder that you try to convince them you are perfect, the more likely you will be rejected. Remember, that failure is a human trait and that accepting your weaknesses shows emotional intelligence. Don't believe me? You have to look no further than the movies to find great examples. Why do we love movies where the main character saves the day at the end? Aside from us dreaming about having amazing abilities, the main reason we love heroic movies is because we connect with the main character. And the reason we connect with them is because they sometimes fail and doubt themselves, just like we do. Billions of dollars have been earned, all because movies have shown that the characters were not perfect. If you've seen Star Wars, the good first three, maybe not the bad last three, you know that Luke Skywalker didn't believe he could defeat Darth Vader. In the Harry Potter movies, Harry was afraid of Lord Voldemort and doubted himself. And Katniss from The Hunger Games doubted whether she could survive in the arena. Each of these heroes had their own doubts and overcame them, which not only makes them more interesting, but also more believable. More than 20 books and movies about these three characters have grossed billions of dollars. The focus is on their struggles and how they overcome their fears. The focus was not, and never, how great they were from the beginning, middle, to the end. Here's how to avoid the biggest mistake applicants make and how to write an essay colleges will love. Remember, we want you to tell your best story. Most students I see write application essays that go the opposite way and write love letters to themselves. A love letter is just an essay talking about how wonderful you are, paragraph after paragraph. If it was a video, it would be you just constantly kissing yourself because you're so in love. No one wants that. So don't write a story that's just about your awesomeness. Write about how you were just a normal teenager who had some problems, stumbled, maybe failed, maybe multiple times, and then fought your way out of the hole you were in to be a better person in the future. And here's why that's believable and wonderful for an essay. Because being real leads to the following benefits. One, you come across as more likable and relatable. Two, it will be easier to identify with you and the reader will be more invested in your story because they see themselves as a flawed person. Number three, people appreciate honesty and openness. This makes you more human and easier to identify with. When you share your struggles and failures, you show you are unafraid to be vulnerable. This can have a big impact on your reader as they can see themselves in your story and feel encouraged that they too can overcome their own challenges. Being honest can also show your growth and development. You can demonstrate your resilience and determination by sharing how you have learned and grown from your failures. Many colleges and universities look for this valuable quality in their applicants. So don't be afraid to be real in your application essays. Tell your story, including your failures and doubts, and show how you have grown and developed. This will make you stand out as a unique and special applicant and increase your chances of acceptance. So how do you write an essay that makes you likable, memorable, and tells your best story? Well, remember, if you're likable, you stand a better chance of being memorable. 
And if you're memorable, you have a better chance of being accepted. So here's everything you need to know to get started. Step one, find a period in your life where you failed, struggled, and doubted yourself. This might sound like an odd place to start, but trust me, it's not. We want to use this moment as the main focus of your essay. You might wonder why you would focus on a time when you failed or struggled. The answer is simple. Colleges and universities want to see that you're resilient, determined, and able to overcome challenges. The important thing is that you chose a moment that significantly impacted you and from which you learned and grew. Step two, reflect on that period and identify what you've learned. Once you've chosen a period of your life to focus in on, reflect on it and learn from it. What challenges did you face? How did you overcome them? What skills or character traits did you develop in the process? It is important to be specific and detailed with your reflections. So rather than simply saying that you've learned to be resilient, you should describe your actions to overcome the challenges. For example, if you failed a course, you could talk about how you worked with a tutor to improve your grades and how your hard work and determination helped you pass the course in the end. That's something specific and tangible that the admissions officers can look and say, oh, I see this problem, I see the solution, and I see this person is now better. That's called closing a story loop, right? I have an issue, I figured out how to solve it, I'm now better. Step number three, explain what you learned from that experience. Now that you've chosen a moment when you faced challenges and failures, it's time to reflect on what you've learned from that experience. This is an essential part of your essay that shows you have grown and developed as a person. When discussing what you've learned, it's important to be specific and detailed. Don't just say that you learn to never give up or always do your best. Instead, consider the specific lessons or skills you gain from this experience. For example, Let's say you chose a time when you failed a big test in school. Instead of simply saying that you learned to study harder, you could talk about the specific study habits you developed due to that failure. Maybe you learned to take better notes or create flashcards to memorize the material, or perhaps you learned to manage your time better to balance studying with other tasks. It's important to show that you have taken concrete steps to learn and grow from your failures. This shows that you're resilient and determined valuable qualities that colleges and universities look for in their applicants. Remember that the goal of your essay is not just to tell a story, but to show how that story has shaped you as a person. Explaining what you've learned from your experiences gives the admissions committee insight into your character and work ethic. So to summarize, your college admissions essay should include the following four steps. Step number one, choose a moment in your life when you face challenges and failures. Step two, explain how you overcame those challenges and failed. Step three, explain what you've learned from that experience. Step four, highlight your achievements and growth and how you'll be able to apply the lessons learned to your future life. Following these steps, you can craft a compelling and effective college admissions essay showcasing your strengths, character, and work ethic. That's it. Stay tuned for the next lesson because I will explain why understanding your personality is crucial for unlocking your area of interest to study and the college you need to select. Keep an eye on your inbox.